Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today I am bringing you guys a video that I'm sure a lot of you have been asking for for a very, very long time now. And that is a two-player high round strategy for Zetsubo no Shima. So I'm going to tell you guys how to get down here, where I'm at, what everything you need, and uh, a few uh, recommendations I would say before you start this strategy. So, number one, what do you have to do to get here? you have to do the Easter egg. If you don't know how to do the Easter egg, I do have a video showing you how to do the Easter egg, but there are tons of videos on YouTube showing you how to do the Easter egg. Very easy Easter egg, I do have to say. You can do a two-player, uh, like you can see here. And that opens up this room. You just have to kill, basically, Takio, and then you're free. Next up, you need two KT4 upgraded, so you need two Masamunes, and that's kind of easy, I would say, a large percentage of people can get that, and it's really simple. You need the skull and that's that way. Well, you need it to do the Easter egg anyway, and to be able to have this. So you're probably going to already have that. So guns. Let's talk about what guns you might want. So whenever you do the Easter egg, you do get all the perks, like a perkaholic. You get everything, and as you can see, yes, I went down and no longer have these perks. But just to tell you guys, I think this, uh, we ended up getting an 80. Uh, we actually just quit, like... I mean, it, I'll show you guys the end in another video. We did die out, but it was our choice to die out because there was no sleeper and uh, we were both getting pretty tired and just starting to rack up senseless downs. But So the secondary gun, I would recommend either a Kurokuda, the Pack-a-Punch, um, what is that gun? The K, starts with a K or something, it's right across, you guys know what it is. Or um, a Pack-a-Punch HK. Or pack punched ICR or a KN44. Either of those four guns would serve you well, pack a punched. Uh, also, possibly if you want to hit the box, um, maybe a haymaker. Uh, that would work out pretty well. Uh, next up, do's and don'ts. Do not hit the box, the main stationary box, more than three times. Just Either you wait until one person has the Masamune and then the other guy hits it three times trying to get it out of the box. Or, as I would suggest, one of you guys run the Gobble Gum that allows you to have three of the fire cells. And that's probably the easiest way to get the gun and be able to get monkeys. Uh, Tyler actually had monkeys. I did not. Um, I don't really think I got anything good from the box. Not even a ray gun. Uh, just pretty much stock guns. I went with a stock gun on the wall to pack a punch. And whenever you pack a bunch, make sure it has dead wire, not blast furnace, not thunder wall, no turned, just what is it called? Dead wire. Oh my god, I lost, I lost the word. So next up, gumballs. I would recommend having both of you, the two people in this, or three, depending on how many people you play with, need to have alchemical. That is the most important one. Next up, you guys should have cash back. Um, apart from that, it's really up to you. Also, to be able to do the Easter egg, one person needs to be able to run uh, the the teleporting one. Can never think of its name. Um, I know it's something like, oh, no, I'm not even going to try to guess what it is. Uh, but whenever you go down in this hallway, like, I think he was away and these two spiders killed him. So whenever you're in this hallway, it's really, really easy to pick someone up. Just pull out your skull and on Sopway or shoot the ground up really nice. Have them crawl as far back as they can, then pick them up. They don't even need perks, honestly, in this uh, this little section. all you, The only perk you really do need is... Uh, speed cola because of reloading this gun. It's just so slow without speed cola and You know once you have alchemical it gets really easy. You just suds up the floor right here They'll keep walking in and dying um, Very very fun game. This is actually the first game on the Xbox that I ever played um, apart from like maybe two or something like that that um, I ended up quitting out of because I went down soon after eating the Perkaholic Gumble Gobble Gum and I wanted to make sure I had it for a later cause. So this map's really hype. I think our previous highest round was 45. We have not played this map for a high round. This is the first time mainly because of the setup. It takes so long. Um, another thing that you could possibly have doing this is the spider bait. We were going for that but one of the man-eater plants or zombie-eater plants snatched it up as we were taking it to the watering holes. So that would come in handy, you know, instead of just sitting in the back waiting for uh, whoever's running point 
to shoot their way. You can have a spider in the other room and pick up a few stray kills. And I think it would be really, really simple that way. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys can uh, do this Easter egg. Or not really Easter egg. Hopefully you guys can do this strategy. And, you know, make it to a high round. Do something. Try to beat us. Our highest round's 80. See what you guys can do. I'll have a challenge video on this map coming out very soon. Very fun challenge video. It's what we did on round 80. Peace.